Alrighty, guys. Oh, there's more goals. <laughs> Thanks for interrupting my intro. So, welcome back to Fallout 4. Man, suffer, man. Um, so what... Yeah, anyways, welcome back to Fallout 4. We're gonna go back to the cellars and return our quest. Let's go ahead and fast travel over there, because I don't want to deal with more enemies. Um, let's go. Alrighty. Hey, man, I killed your gulls. There was a glowing one there, and things didn't go so well. Those ghouls. Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? That's great news. Fella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude and our support. So this is a settlement, too? Oh, God, why is there so many settlements? Why? <laughs> Let's, might as well store all of our junk here. Oh, um, and then... We can start, let's try to help these people out and build some stuff. Transfer all junk. There. Alright. See if we can build anything. This is a pretty big settlement. Dang. We can scrap these trees, get them some wood. Wood is uh, quite essential for building. There's like no room beyond the house for here, so. I wonder what we do need to defend. Probably their green... They have so much food, it's scary. <laughs> They're good on food. I'm not going to worry about their food at all. Mutt fruit is actually the best because instead of pr producing 0 0.5, it produces 1. So I recommend it for you guys out there. Got some pretty good stuff, I would say. Got some chairs. I know it's going to be really barren now, but I'd rather have resources and a cool looking place, right? Oh, I got a shack, too. Put some, uh, sleeping people in there. Ah, oh, we can't scavenge that car. How do we expand the space? Let me know what you guys, uh... If, if you know how to expand, um, room for the base. I guess we can just leave furniture in here. Only two beds. Yeah, we're gonna need to build some more beds for them. Oh, dang, we don't... Of course. Well, we can build two beds this way, I guess, so... Just wanna do that. We could put like two beds right here. There is room, so. Alrighty. So they'll at least get a couple more settlers. Alright, um. They need more water, that's for sure. Let's give them some more water. Oh, we can build a couple pumps. Build. Let's give them three. Twelve water. Food. I don't think they need food. Like, at all. They got plenty of it. We can just always plant more, though. Now they never have to worry about food. <laughs> if I ever want to get food, I guess I'll just come here, because mutt fruit is the best. Alright, so let's go ahead and harvest a bunch of these. That way we can plant mutt fruit at other places. growing well. I need to assign someone to this. I need to hey, go check. I need to assign someone to this. Stop talking. Take a look. I need to assign someone to this. Probably have a crap ton of mutt fruits now. Oh, there's a cool sign up here. Alright. Um, what else do we have to do? They need... Man, they don't necessarily need power. Could give them some defenses. Uh, if we can give them a scavenging type thing. Help increase their scavenging output. Siren. Oh yeah, we could give him a trader. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Little, uh, store right here. It's kind of floating, but that's okay. Crafting. I think they're good on crafting. Um, defenses. Yeah, we're gonna have to put up some defenses for them. I think that would be good right there. Also, we can put one, like, out here somewhere. That would work out nicely. Put another one out there. Okay. 
Ah, uh, we need oil, of course. I can never find oil, I swear. Um, I wonder if there's anything here that would give us oil. Probably not, but... They got mutt fruits up the yin yang. Holy crap. It's definitely a big food producer. Actually, this would be nice if I could build trade routes because, um... They can just give food to other settlers. So I don't even need to plant anything to other settlements. They can just give it to like other to people. Trade some items. No, I don't, I don't want to trade. Ah, what am I doing? Am I frozen? Oh, there we go. Settler. Supply line. Um... Where do we want to go with this, actually? Let's look at our map. I don't know where any of my locations are. So we got one over there. Outpost. Sanctuary. Sanctuary does have all the resources, to be honest. So... We could do a trade line to Sanctuary. Yeah, why don't we do that? And we can just build... Alright, man. I'm going to take you. Supply line to Sanctuary. Yes. Couldn't have been easy going up against numbers like Oh, that. they just gave him more food it looks like. Cool. Alright. I don't know if that gives us any resource benefits or anything. I might see trade lines going across. I think it just shares resources is the only thing that it does. So hopefully more people come by. Oh yeah, we need to build uh like a type of um whatchamacallit. Can't think right now. The recruiter thingy. That's what I call it. Oh, yes, we can make a recruitment beacon. Awesome. Let's go ahead and make one of those. Make a generator. Blah, blah, blah. Frick. Um, tell me we can make... Oh, we can make a medium generator. Let's do that. We can make a large generator, too. One mil. Oh, we can make it. <laughs> OP! <laughs> Actually, we probably want to move that. This thing's freaking massive. Let's... Nick, get out of the way. That is a big freaking generator. Alright, somebody's calling me. Sorry about that. Should have went on Do Not Disturb at first. Alright, we could wire this thing, but I don't have full copper. That is a pretty big problem. I always lack copper. There's another farm over there. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and check our stats again. Their happiness is going down. What? Thought I thought I did pretty well with them. It's probably because they have no defense. Um shoot. <laughs> Could build them some more beds. Oh, they got a lot of stuff, dang. Hey, let's um just in case more settlers come by. Put a bed in here. I wonder if the quality of the beds, like, if it increases their happiness. Doesn't say it would, but probably does. Alright, we have seven beds. We put one over here, too. I like keeping some of the furniture in here. I can't, I can't play broadcast and record at the same time. My CPU is already dying from recording. <laughs> We don't want to put beds outside. That's not a very good idea. Especially when they're sleeping and all of a sudden they get attacked. Hopefully not by death claws, but... Could build a laser turret. You nuclear material and fiber optics, though. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> Let's equip that girl, wherever the heck she is, with... Some armor and wet bands. Let's go back to Sanctuary. Because we need to turn in that quest. And along with that, we can also um, improve some of our armor. T30, 30, or 45 was the first version of power armor. That makes sense. That's why it's probably the worst. <laughs> Still really good, though. Probably still the best looking power armor. Again, this is uh, all T45 with some upgrades to it, and this torso and left arm is T51C. And it's also all C. That's C is the model, so it just has better stats. 
then it looks a little bit different too. Looks quite a bit nicer. Let's turn the quest in. Get some stuff going. Why is my radiation so high? I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about. Don't worry, guys. I'm back. With ice cream. It's a okay in the end zone. Preston wants me to take the castle. Dude, lucky. I want to get the castle. Centrally located. It's freaking huge. Have a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. I have vanilla it ice cream like to soothe my tongue. Right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Meet the Minutemen at the castle. Sweet. Oh my god, that is really freaking far away. Do I want to go there? <laughs> How far I, away is it? I wonder where the death claws are. It's on the very edge of the map. Or not like at bottom that. Bottom right, bottom. It's it's like it's not at the very edge, but it's like on the bottom right. Um It's ne it's next to Vault 114. So kind I'm of. I'm at the bottom right. Huh? I'm at the bottom right. Not the very bottom right, though, but it's somewhere oh. near there. That's where I was. How how hard is it down there? Because when I was at the very a east... Behemoth. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that was for Brotherhoods of Arms quest. I might as well store these switch blades. Hey, I might as well give them to settlers, actually. Any settlers around here? Probably all sleeping to be honest let's actually go ahead and, let's actually go ahead and sleep the heck why is she teleporting want to trade a few things give me all your ammo okay that'll give her some armor and Fallout 3. For the Xbox 360, I got to Megaton and then quit because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was like... 8 or 9. Plus, I thought the game was scary. Oh yeah, I was gonna modify the armor. Alright. See what... We can do to this armor. It is quite lightweight, so that's the advantage. Alright. I'm gonna take this ice cream back downstairs and put it in the fridge. Be right back, fam. <laughs> We gotta get another armor perk. Yeah, I wanna see what this sturdy stuff is all about. Eh, not that great. Can't really do much to it. Could just give it to people. Why don't we have that equipped? What do we have equipped? Oh. I see. Oh yeah, we're gonna see what we can do to this. Dang! They make that stuff really good leveled. We need to get some uh, further armor pocketed. Alright, that looks awesome. That's, that's what our armor looks like now. 
Kind of looks like Captain America. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and give this to one of the settlers. Actually, no, I could give it to my companion. Why wasn't I thinking about that? Trade. He has some of my stuff. Um, let's go ahead and go down here. Actually, no, we can scroll through, actually. Give him that. Can I make him equip this? probably can't equip it. Alright, I'll see what I can do. What? She was hammering the wall while clipping through the bed. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Alright, so I did get some uh, rest in the game. We're going to try to find Preston. I'm going to switch out my um, companion. What should we get out multiple companions? Hey, are you a new settler? Oh no, this is a trader. Sweet. Give us some more food. Hey, woman. Oh, gave you the rifle. Where's Preston? I need to find Preston. Preston, where are you? I don't know where Preston is. There's people in here. I don't think anybody sleeps in here. He's usually walking around. Where did he go? Can't find Preston. Maybe he's in here. I have no idea. Alright guys, on to episode of Fallout 4. So I know where Preston is. He's probably at the castle waiting for me. So we're going to go down south to uh, Vault 144 or 1... 114, whatever you want to call it. And then, um... Oh, we can show supply lines. That's cool. So, got one from there to there. That's really cool. Um... We might want to build a settlement at the Red Rocket Truck Shop and then have trade routes going along here and then along here to this base. <laughs> base so far away, like why? But um, that'll be pretty much it. And we're also going to level up. So let's see what perk we can get. We're going to go ahead and get armor rank 2. And then we're going to build some new armor and then end the episode. So... Hope you guys enjoy the ride while we make some new armor. We can also improve our power armor as well now. Sweet. Oh, well, that's all we can do. Um, it does improve radiation resistance though. Ah, shoot. We can't do anything else to that, but we can improve our power armor for sure. Alrighty. Model D. We can only do so much before it wants to stop again. Alrighty. Ran out of nuclear material. Crap. Um, might as well just improve the helmet then. I don't have enough. I don't have enough for like anything. Man, those upgrades help a lot, especially in terms of uh, how much health these pieces get. <clears throat> so it probably has like 900 armor now, and much more health. So this thing's pretty freaking tough. But um, wonder if we should bring. Yeah, guys, let's go ahead and bring our power armor to our can we we probably want to switch out the fusion core actually let's actually get inside it and if it runs out of power we're going to switch out the fusion core so let's wait for it to run out of this fusion core and see if it like recharges the new one 
Alrighty, so we're just gonna sit here and wait. Alright, yeah, so I'm actually charged as well. That, I'm gonna end the episode. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, like, subscribe, leave some comments, and I'll see you guys later.